Hey guys, my name is Richard and welcome to this week 19 hair transplant progress update video. What's up guys, this is Richard. As I said, I'm currently on week 19 after my hair transplant operation that I had in Istanbul, Turkey back in October 2019. Um, things have been going really well this week. My hair has been thickening up and getting better and better. So let me give you a quick close up to my hair. Um, as you can see, it is just looking a lot th thicker than before, or maybe it's just growing longer, but either case, my scalp is shining through less and less. And whereas before you could see this like clear definition between what's growing on top here and what's on the sides here, now it's kind of all starting to blend in. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, it's starting to look like a normal haircut rather than some weird um, moppy looking, you know, hair transplant that hasn't gone quite right. So I guess what the doctors say is right. You just have to wait, wait a little bit longer. Month three and month four is when it thickens up and you start to see the results. So I am happy with what I'm seeing with everything apart from what's going on outside. So I'm here from um, Oxford, United Kingdom. The weather this week has been absolutely terrible. It is cold, it is miserable, it is raining. It is just, just terrible. So let me give you a quick shot from outside of my window. Boom. So as you can see, it is pure nasty outside. Very, very horrible stuff. But it is at this stage where I don't want to set my foot outside of the door because the wind is howling and, and it's this like cold, horrible rain. Um, on a completely different topic, I've got squirrels in my roof. So um, we've got loads of gray squirrels in my garden or surrounding gardens and somehow one of these stupid squirrels has managed to chew a hole in the fascia board of my roof and decided to make a house inside my roof. Now normally I wouldn't care but every like Saturday morning at 5 a.m. I wake up because I can hear him munching on nuts or whatever he's got there and running around. I can hear little footsteps going da -da 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 So, so now I've got to deal with this. But yeah. anyway, going back to my hair transplant. Uh, let me give you a 360 of, you know, what's brewing on my head. So you can have a quick look for yourself. So that is what it looks like from all angles. Um, as I said, it's looking better and better. I don't really notice the donor area anymore. So when I do like daily pictures of my hair, I don't bother doing the donor side because it's, it doesn't look like anything now, it just looks normal. Um, okay, so this week I wanted to have a quick talk because some people have asked me, so I wanted to mention these things. Um, what products I'm using? On daily basis, I use this um, shampoo and I'll put it in the picture with all the ingredients and back in case anyone's interested in looking uh, but it's a it's a natural um, shampoo with argan oil and biotin uh, anti hair loss so I got one of these for free from the clinic when I finished my operation and I bought another three bottles of this stuff just so I'd have enough for sort of the first year but to be honest with you um, this this stuff that I've got, this stuff that I've been using since you know day one of my transplant is still not empty and it's sort of four months in. Um, and I guess it's because my hair has been like so short that I don't need more than a little drop of it or you know, just a tiny little bit, a little squirt. So I guess this thing is gonna last for absolutely ages. It's still got about, I'd say at least a quarter of the bottle left, maybe more, maybe a third. So definitely those three tubs are gonna last me more than a year. But I'm gonna to stick to it because I don't mind this, this shampoo. It's, it's quite pleasant. It doesn't have a weird smell or anything to it. Uh, it makes my hair feel nice at the end. So definitely happy with it. As I said, I use it on a daily basis. The other thing I use um, and have been using since month one after my transplant is this um, anti-hair loss spray. And again, I'll put a picture in, um, in the video just so you can see what the contents are in case anyone's interested. Um, and yeah, it, it was an optional thing that I decided to buy just because 
I was thinking about it after the transplant and I thought I really want to, you know, use whatever these guys at the clinic are selling just to, I know it's, you know, deep down inside, I know that this thing is not gonna make my hair grow any more or any less, but it will make my hair healthier. And I thought, you know, during the first year of the recovery process after the transplant, I'd like to do, you know, whatever I can just to maintain the, the, the hair healthy because the last thing you want is <clears throat> go through all the effort of the transplant, all the pain, all the recovery, all the, you know, balding and ugly stages. And then, you know, at the end it doesn't work out. So you, I, I kind of just want to do all I can to, you know, to keep it healthy. So I bought two of these uh, thinking that this will be enough, you know, for the first year. But this is getting towards the end of the second bottle. I've got about, you know, three days of use left. But I use this thing every morning and every evening. I give five sprays on my head and just massage it in. And the thing that I like about this stuff is that you don't have to wash it out. So, and it doesn't make, it doesn't make my hair sticky or greasy or anything like that. Or it doesn't make it look oily. It just makes it look like nice and like, I don't know. Does this look okay? It just makes it look like this. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I think it looks nice because I haven't had hair on my head for a long time. So I think, oh wow, this thing is making my hair look really cool. Uh, but yeah, you know, whatever it is, I, I do like it. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more of it, um, but I don't. I can't buy any of this stuff because they don't sell it. Uh, they only sell it at the clinic, so they won't post me any. I can't buy any on Amazon, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. So when I'm done with that, I will start to use something else. I already, <clears throat> when I noticed that I'm running out or running low, I, I did some searching around and I found something that I think might be a little bit similar. And I bought this a couple of weeks ago. So it's this Waterman's Grow More thing. Now, the ingredients are obviously not the same as the one I've been using, but the application and the use is, 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 the, is pretty much the same. So twice a day, you put it in the morning and just leave it in, you don't have to wash it out. So that's what I like about it. And hopefully it's gonna be the same odorless and it doesn't, you know, make my hair look greasy or sticky or whatever. Um, but I'll give this a go and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm not gonna use it for the next couple of days. I'll probably start using it on the weekend. Um, but I'll let you know whether I like it or not. Um, it's obviously one that we can buy in the UK on Amazon, which which what makes it a nice product for me because it's an easy, accessible product. But yeah, that, that's my plan to use this next. I do have this nice ingredient of um, natural oils and stuff that I might mix and start using uh, once I have give this thing a go because I've paid for this already. Uh, and mixing oils and stuff sounds like hard labor for me. So <laughs> me being very lazy, I might not go down that route, but I am curious to see what that would be like. So I'll try this thing first and if I don't like it, I'll, I'll go on to something else. But that is pretty much all I use. That and men's uh, multivitamin supplement. I use that because it's got like everything in it, iron, um, vitamin B complex uh, and so forth. So, but apart from those, that is it. Uh, I don't use anything else whatsoever. And the recovery seems to be okay. But that is pretty much it. Um, that's all I wanted to talk about this week. Um, progress is going good. Hair is growing back, which I very much like. It's looking a lot thicker and nicer, at least to me, and I'm happy with it. Um, by the way, if you have not done so yet, please click on the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. Uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the content. If you did, please like this video and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to use the comments box below. Also, um, if you have had a hair transplant and you've gone through some weird side effects, or even if it's just going really, really well, uh, or not going well, whatever, whatever it is, um, please use the, uh, the comments below and let me know what you're going through. It, I always like to hear from other people what they're doing when it comes to this topic. Also, if you've done any videos um, on your hair, you know, transplant, progress, recovery, all this kind of stuff, uh, please feel free to send a link in the comments. I would love to go and have a look and see what yours looks like. I love seeing other people's um, progress as well, uh, especially if it's better than mine, then I'm sitting there and I'm going like, oh damn, this guy's looking much better than mine. But it's still cool, it's still cool going in saying, oh, I see why they've done this, why they've done that. So it's a nice thing to see, um, you know, and even if it's not going very well, it's still be interesting to see how it's progressing and so forth. Um, if you guys are, you know, 
just in your first you know month or so of the transplant be patient month three is coming and month three and four is where you can see the results so be patient it will come i remember for me like month one and month two i was so depressed every day i was like oh damn come on when is this thing gonna grow and you know like clockwork month three came and it just started growing and growing so be patient uh, it will come but that, that is it for now uh, like i said anything at all use the comments below and i'll see you guys next week bye for now